What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I've got another what sold video for you guys and we had another wild weekend that I'm actually down here on Sunday night gathering everything up and I'm going to show you everything that's sold Friday night through now so far. And then in the morning, I'm going to show you everything else that's sold. I just don't know that I'm going to have enough time um, tomorrow because that's how much stuff sold and how many like bigger items that I sold today. So stay tuned later in this video, I'll tell you all of my costs and everything and you'll see the total profit I made on all of these sales. So let's get into it. All right, before I get into anything, look at all of this packing supplies I've gotten. I literally have not bought any packing supplies this year at all. I mean, look at this. This is all just from my online arbitrage sourcing. I get all this in. I save all of my bags. I save all of this packing paper. I obviously need to organize it a little better because the stack's getting high. Never need to pay for packing supplies if you're constantly getting boxes and stuff in the mail. I don't order boxes either. I literally just reuse all my boxes. These are just all the smaller size ones down here obviously past all my inventory i have a bunch of broken down boxes that way they're easier to store these will get used up pretty quick so that's why they're still not broken down i'll use most of these on a lot of this stuff but now let's get into this toys galore let's get into these one by one we sold this harrison bryant card that i've had for a long time don't know why it randomly sold i forgot this was even out there sold it for four bucks we'll send it ebay standard envelope we sold four of these Cowboys patches for $12, and we get these wristbands for like 30 cents each and sell them for three for $10. Now let's get into some hats over here. These four hats here were all from a pallet, um, so about two, three bucks a hat we had in these. Sold this for $28. Sold this golf one for $50 plus shipping. This was big time. Someone actually returned it. They finessed the item not as described, and they took the tags off, which really made me mad, but... We still moved it, and I still got really good money on that. So this Lake Erie Monsters hat for 20 bucks, and my last Cal Poly hat for $25. All right, and then all these hats were sourced, so I'll tell you where from. So $4 on this Cleveland Indians hat, and sold it for $25. That's an all-star game hat, so that's big money. Then we got this Jack Rabbits hat, $2.99, sold it for $17.99. We've got a... U.S. World Cup champs, or I don't even know. I don't know anything about soccer, but I sell a lot of soccer stuff. Um, sold it for $18. Got it for $3 from Fanatics. We got a McNeese State hat, $2.99. Sold it for $17.99. I misspoke when I got these in Texas. These are actually, this is actually a school, not the New York Islanders. But anyway, I sold it for $22 and paid $7.99. Got this in a video you will see very soon. I went to a bunch of stores and sourced a lot of stuff. I've already sold tons of stuff from that video, $4.99. Um, that'll be up either Thursday, Saturday, or next Thursday. So be on the lookout for that. Got lots of videos I'm cooking up, lots of videos I've already made. $8 for this Blue Jackets hat. Just sold it for like 20, 22 bucks. Nothing big, but we moved it. Um, and this is from that same video as this FIU hat. $4.99 again for all these 47 brand hats, selling them for 20 bucks a pop. And we sold three of these Ohio State Nike beanies. Not sure why these sold after the big L we took over the weekend, but you know what? You take L's, you move on. It's been a good run. Uh, $9.99 and sold those for 25, 26 bucks a piece. And we sold an Akron Zips beanie, uh, 12 bucks. Got this for a dollar at Burlington got this auburn shirt from my local bins place for a dollar and sold it for 15. another army shirt i only have one or two of these left sold this one for 25 dollars i've raised the price on that got this from fanatics as well for a buck or two sold it for 13 dollars um, so my last arkansas really nice flag actually it's like stitched um sold that for i believe 17.99 and obviously got it from lids and the lids palette because it's got all that crossed out we got a space jam toy got a bunch of these thinking that they were going to be hot pretty much just sold it at cost so we're going to take a little bit of a loss there again i'm not going to lie to you guys i actually made the big time with all the lebron gujitsu so that pretty much paid for them all and the rest it was out of the return window so we'll just take the l and just move them at cost lose a couple bucks per and we sold all of these pokeballs a member called these out in bread and butter they were on sale at target for 17 dollars but we also had some people with 10 percent off coupons and 
5% off with the red card. Ended up getting these for about $14.50 a piece. Sold all of them yesterday when I got them in at $40 a pop. So nice flips there. We sold these Super Mario Castles. I called these out in bread and butter a long time ago, $7.99 at GameStop. And I told people to hold them till Christmas season. They would allow you to order two online. I didn't find any in store, but we had lots of us eat these online. And I sold them for $45 a piece. These are super easy to ship. They are not heavy whatsoever, and they're really not as big as they look. Now these bad boys are going to be a pain in the butt to ship. Actually, Target legit just shipped them to me like this. I could not believe when I got home and these two guys were just sitting on the porch, not in a box at all. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put them in another box. I mean, I have tons of boxes. I can easily find some. Anyway, these were called out as well as a Target deal. Target had a lot of toy deals going on last week. I think it was buy one, get one, 50% off on these. I can't remember. It was anywhere between 17 and $25 each, I believe, and sold them for $85 on Amazon. We sold two more dinos over here. Again, these were between, oh, 50 cents and a dollar a piece from BitFTA online auction and I sold them for $15 each, one on Amazon, one on eBay. Picked up this nativity scene from Walmart. It was 70 bucks, sold it for 135 plus shipping on Mercari. Mercari has been great for moving a lot of my Christmas items. Um, I got an Xbox bundle in the mail the other day and it came with this Elite controller. Sold this like instantly for like 150, 160 on eBay. Probably should have listed a little higher. I just wanted the trending rate and it went ASAP. Again, those bundles are going to upcharge you, but it's worth it. And you can end up making between $100 and $200 profit on the consoles, especially when you cash them out, which let's come over here. I actually have another PS5 upstairs, but here's my one PS5. I got two of these bad boys and I got an Xbox. I'm about to send the PS5 and the Xbox to cash out and hold these guys a little longer. But I've got a nice little stash as well as all of these Nintendo Switch OLEDs. All right, I'm done flexing. Time to get back in with these. Um, sold these on Amazon for $59 a piece. Last week, I sold like three different kinds of these. These are a different kind than them. But if you remember, I said I got those a couple years ago and I just found them in my death pile. If I remember correctly, these were like 20 bucks a piece. So we made out pretty well making 60 bucks. Those ended up being a good hold, not on purpose. We sold this, it is a Rocky IV poster. Got this in a poster pallet, which I just got another one of those. So had nothing in that basically, and sold that one for 18 bucks. All right, we sold a pair of James Harden's all white. Um, paid like $25 for those on sale midsummer in Marshalls and sold those for $60. Then we got a polo phys ed sweater the other day, 20 bucks. Didn't know what to price this at. Put it at like 80, 85 bucks, best offer. Someone offered me 60 bucks, so I took it. We'll make a good profit there. Got this from the Goodwill bins. Oh, so what, probably 30, 40 cents. Um, it is a youth BYU like little sweater and sold it for 20 bucks. Uh, sold this Ohio State pullover for $30. Got it for $10 from Burlington. And you know, I said I was gonna return this Jalen Smith jersey. I paid $35 for it. I decided to throw it up for 65 on eBay. I won't make the most, but wasn't really feeling like taking it back and this was like a nike elite jersey so they're really expensive sewn on stitch jerseys and someone bought it felix the cat hoodie paid 10 bucks for this sold it for 40 on ebay this uh columbus crew hoodie paid 15 dollars, sold it for 40 dollars on ebay got this the other day from gabe's if you remember correctly in that video i think i already took the tag off it was like between three and five dollars sold it for 28 dollars then we got these from BitFTA, these backpacks. Thought these were a better buy than they were. I got them for like a dollar, dollar fifty a piece, which I thought was a great price on backpacks. I didn't even look up comps because they were $22.99 MSRP. Never go off of MSRP, always look up comps. Comps for these were about $12 a piece on eBay, free shipping, so not much money to be made there. But I got creative and I listed them as a lot of three for $35. That way I only have to pay shipping one time and they ended up selling. So whenever you have more than one of an item and it's not worth selling as one, there's always going to be people looking for lots. So definitely get creative with your listing. Always try to differentiate your listings from others. Then we sold three of these Devin Booker jerseys from that jersey palette. That tub is running low. I only have one Devin Booker jersey left. Um, these were nice while they lasted, selling them for $45 to $50 a piece on Mercari. 
and we sold all of these flags. Not as good of a flag weekend as we've been having, but I haven't had time to update my listings on Facebook and pull down the older listings and relist them. And you know, you got to be active on Facebook Marketplace if you want to make sales. So just haven't been as active as I wanted to be. We'll get better. I've been uh, busy grinding out for bread and butter. We have been cleaning up. So I'm probably going to package up some of these bigger items tonight. Oh, we also sold a reseller box for like $45 on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace. I don't remember which, so I'll fill that up. But I'll show you guys everything else that I sold in the morning. For now, this is it. On Saturday night at like 7 o'clock, we're going to package up some of these bigger items. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, here we go. Everything that's sold overnight. Quite a little decent haul. Uh, we got this D Wade poster here. I paid a dollar for this in a poster pallet and sold it for $14. We sold lots of hats, but first we sold three more wristbands. Oh, always check your inventory before sending it out. We won't send that one because I want to uh, give them some good stuff. Uh, but $10 for that and then $10 for this set of wristbands. We also sold some more flags. I updated some listings last night on Facebook, so had some more success there. So we sold this Dominican Republic hat, got this in a flag pal for like two bucks, uh, sold it for $35. Um, I didn't know what to list that because there was nothing like it, so I kind of just set the market. Then this is an MILB hat, um, whoever Syracuse is, I forget who it is, um, but I sold this for 30 bucks as well. Sold this Clemson hat I got for $2. These are all from the same hat palette. This is Clemson and Atlanta Braves. Sold this for $50. Um, there were a ton of solds on that, so that was an easy flip. Had that for a while, but I knew it was going to sell. Then we got this Miami soccer hat. Same place as I got the other ones. Sold it for $25. Same place as the other ones, uh, Arkansas. I don't know why all the hats took off. Literally, that's all the hats I sold from the whole weekend. And then, like, last night, like... Hats just went crazy. Maybe Cyber Monday is going to be a hat kind of day. But anyway, um, I sold this for like 20 bucks, And we paid $2.99 for this at TJ Maxx. Sold it for $18. And same place as all these other ones. For this one, I sold it for 20 bucks. So overall, fantastic weekend. Now I'm going to start packaging everything up. I didn't even package up the bigger stuff last night. I was lazy. So going to cost me a lot of time today. But we're going to try to get done before like 4 it's currently like 9.30, so let's see what happens. All right, guys, here is the haul. Wow. Gonna change up the scenery a little bit. These are just getting kind of repetitive, so I'm gonna read the numbers down here. So on eBay, we sold 55 items for $1,645. On Facebook, we sold 30 items for $688. On Mercari, we sold eight items for $402. And on Amazon, we sold five items for $296 for a total of 98 items for $3,031. Also, guys, I sold another probably 10 to 15 items while we were packaging up. I did not add those in this number, so just know I sold another couple hundred dollars worth of stuff because stuff just kept coming in. I kept packaging it up. Um, I had to stop eventually. I got about five or six pending orders now, so I'm going to do those on Wednesday. So now we need to take out our costs, take out our fees of $366, our shipping $516, and our costs of goods sold $689 for a total net profit of $1,460. Now, as always, let's multiply that by 52 to see what we would do net profit just on the weekends, 75K a year. Again, guys, I hope this video gives you a good idea of like the types of things that I'm buying and selling. That's why I make these. Not necessarily for you to copy me, because like I always say, source in the areas of the store that you know, that's where you will know how to find profit. You can go try to copy me all you want, but if you're in the areas as a store that you don't know, you're going to be very confused in there and you're going to be lost and just not even know what you're looking for. I've gone into areas of store trying to look for certain bolo items and stuff and I'm just completely lost. So mainly I stick with my bread and butter. It's nice to have some bolo items, but you need to find that bread and butter that you can make consistent sales with. That's what 80 to 90% of what I sold is. The rest is like bolos. You can't sustain a business on bolo. Be on the lookout. Hard to find items, but they are a nice add-on. So just try to work on finding your bread and butter. That's why I created the bread and butter group. I want to try to help other people be able to find their bread and butters along with providing them bolos so that they can start to pump some sales, build up their accounts. So really just like a 24 seven support system for all resellers, answer any questions, anything. So again, if you are interested in that, 
You can join First Link in the description. If you have any more questions on that, go ahead and shoot us a follow on Instagram at Bread and Butter Group. You can also follow me on Instagram if you're not already at Millennial underscore Profit. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Again, I'm truly blessed and thankful, and I would not be able to do this without my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, so I will continue to always give him the glory because without him in my life, I would not be where I am today. Thank you so much for watching. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Prophet. Thank <laughs> you.